So I want to give you an example of manipulations of a man's property. This little bottle opener that used to be one of these Mexican kind of skull kind of designs that really never made it. I found it in a trash can long ago. And I was keeping it in the outside of one of my uh, Under Armour backpacks. And openly, isn't it interesting that some of the panhandlers now have the same backpacks as me? But what I'm saying is this was in that pocket of my backpack. But now, practically, it's in the pocket of my uh, outer sweatpants. And it's got a clip on it, which I didn't do. So I'm questioning, what is the man's name, or the woman's name, or the child's name that thought they had the right to, first of all, cut holes in my pockets on my backpack, and also cut my backpack. It's very intentionally a hole that's been cut, and openly take my things. I'd really like to know who has my tool bag. I'd really like to know who has my private intimate things for my girlfriend. She asked me to hold them for her friend, and openly it's none of my business what's in them. They were in cloth bags. But openly that's what a sexual predator does, is they try to monkey around in your pockets. It's a form of molestation. My pockets were zipped last night, as I always zip them closed so I don't lose pocket change. But I've often had money stolen from my pockets, and I've had at least $11 in the last week removed from my pockets, which means that, that my plan to budget that money for my food intake and my other things isn't available to me. This is the lies that these young people tell themselves. Or maybe it's an old man who's frigid and pretends to be frigid, and he really drives himself around uh, because he doesn't have a car in a wheel bound vehicle. And maybe he gets out of that vehicle and he puts his paws on me. But someone did dissemble my, my, my tented area here, and that means that they're breaking and entering into my home.